Ginny Walker is lucky to be alive. After the birth of my son, I suffered a major hemorrhage. I lost just under three litres of blood, which is 60% of my total blood volume. So it was, it was a lot to lose. Ginny needed three blood transfusions. If you hadn't received this blood transfusion, what would have happened? After the birth, uh, I was invited by the head of gynaecology to have a sort of post-consultation chat. And I don't think I was quite aware of the severity of what had happened at the time. And he made it very clear to me that had I not been in the right place um, and with the resources readily available, including the blood, um, I, I would have had a very different outcome. So, you know, it, it was, it was life-threatening. Life Stories of survival start in places like this with people giving blood and saving lives. But this winter, bosses say there's a shortage. The O negative is really, really valuable um, in the hospital settings. Um, it's the blood that's required in emergency situations. Um, and at the moment, we're just being asked a little bit more by the hospitals to have that stock ready for those situations, especially towards the winter. O negative is so valuable. It's a universal blood donor, um, and it's also universal in the hospitals, which is why we need really good stock levels of that to support our patients. They're also looking for B-negative donations too, which is why the NHS are trying to make giving blood as easy as possible. We've got lots of appointments available across London, 2,000 appointments this week. People can book in um, across central London. So we've got here today at Shepherd's Bush. We're also in West End and Stratford at the other side, so all along the central line. Fortunately for Ginny, the blood she needed was there when she needed it. I can't quite put into words how much of an impact it's had on my life to be able to have a second chance and for my children to grow up with their mum. So, I mean, it's, it's priceless.